I'm Deb Courtney. This video has to do with becoming internally motivated versus externally prompted. And what I mean by that is sometimes we look back over a year and see how that year worked for us or didn't work for us, or we see how a month worked for us and didn't work for us and what things that we need to continue getting accomplished. So let's talk about how we can become self-generated and motivated rather than relying on outside influences or circumstances to get us and keep us going. Major areas that we can work on that will help provide us with these shifts. I have four that I want to discuss with you today. Number one is tr tr trusting your own intuition, your own self-intuition, even in the face of disagreement, circumstances, or reality. We all have, at some point in time or another, have dealt with our own intuition in regards to a particular topic or subject that we're having to deal with in our lives. And sometimes I have found that when I disregard knowing the intuition, that gut feeling, sometimes I end up disappointed. And I wished I had listened to that inner voice saying, this is the way walk in it. So if you've had any kind of issues in regards to trusting your own, tuition, own intuition, even in the face of a disagreement or circumstances, a lot of times if you, if you are able to pause and not have to answer a particular problem or question or deal with something at that time, I would like to suggest to you to go out and do your own due diligence, get your information that you need so that you can come with a answer or a a set of of uh, actions that you need to take sometimes i have found myself that i think i need to take all the actions i need and just knock it out of the ballpark sometimes it's best to just hit a base hit and what I mean by that is just taking it one step at a time because a lot sometimes circumstances will change on you in the middle of what you may have an issue with. So a lot of times if we just pause and take time to go research, ask people questions, uh, ask, ask people have that conversation to where, oh, I'm thinking about this or this is coming towards me next month. I would like to get your feedback. Do you have any insight? Have you dealt with this? Do you know somebody who's dealt with, with this situation? A lot of times, if you do things of that nature, and then you will come Basically, a lot of times with your intuition telling you, okay, you've done all your homework, this would be the proper way to handle that. Just, just saying. The second thing I want to bring to your attention is becoming fully responsible for your own self, your own problems and responsibility when you do that, when you take your own responsibility, that brings to you choices. If you allow what issues that you are dealing with and you want somebody else to take the responsibility of it, be willing to handle or take or accept the circumstances they give you, which may not be what you want to have. So when you become fully responsible for your own self-life, for the choices that you made, you made the choice, not somebody else. 
it's best to not leave your life up to chance in regards to somebody else making the choices for your life. If you don't know the choice that you need to make or should make, or then the, the steps are always the same. Do your due diligence and find out what it is about this choice if I'd go this way or if I go that way. And then sometimes, and then talk about it. Talking about choices helps you process it. And a lot of times you do come with a, a good answer. Now you may have um, nobody that you can talk to, or you may have one or two or three people that you can talk to. If you don't have anyone to talk to, then if you, if you, if you sense that you have someone that you can go ask, like a counselor, some place that you can go just to start. Uh, and a lot of people now are starting with Google. You can do that. So do that so that you make your own choices and that you are in charge of your life and that no one is telling you what choices you should make because they really don't know the outcome is going to bring to you and what you, what, how you will feel about those choices if it's not the right choice. Therefore, and there's nothing, if you make a choice and you mess up, okay. I, I don't know of anybody that's ever walked the face of this earth that hasn't messed up. All you do is you just make a correction. You may have to apologize to someone. You may have to just back up and and look at this thing a little differently. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's something that's life-threatening or very, very um, has to do with somebody else in your life and your life also, then you need to take the necessary time. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get in a hurry. And and plan how this thing and write it down and to, and process it, talk it out so you can make, you know, the so you can make the right choices. Okay. And the next one is accepting what is so accepting what is so telling the truth and knowing that everything is exactly as it should be right now. If you live in the moment, not yesterday, last week, last last year, five or ten years ago, or it, not in the future, next month, next year, five or ten years in the future, when you live in the moment and accepting what, you know, what is, and you tell the truth, First and foremost, tell the truth to yourself. Be truthful with yourself. As, as bad as it may, it may be something that's not going to look, that you don't like. I've, I don't, I've done that. I don't know of anybody that hasn't probably at some point in time or another been through a circumstance that they didn't like the circumstance they was in. However, Sometimes you just have to accept, okay, this is a circumstance I'm in, and I'm trying to get to this place. How is that going to look? Sometimes you, it, 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 sometimes it's just a, a hard journey to, to walk through. I've had to do it plenty of times in my life in the past. But when I got through it and walked through it, guess what? I was a whole lot more educated uh, and what not to do and how not to go through that again. So it's just experience and learning. It's, it's, it's not a lifetime conviction. It's just a situation that you find yourself in. Accept it. Stay in the moment. Do what you can. Find, 
find the people that can give you if you can if you can if it's a if you can get a good result out of it fine if it's not going to bring you a good result but you still have to go through it then you look at it as a hopefully as a something that you're learning from it the last thing is placing your emotional and physical balance as the number one focus on what you do. You need to invest as much time as you can emotionally and physically on yourself. And those things need to balance out. When you are out of balance, physically and emotionally, and sometimes a lot of other different ways, you, you could throw financially in there, psychologically, socially, there are a lot of things else contingent on where you are at in your life's journey. But basically, I want to talk about emotional and physical balance. When you are in balance, then you have a better, a, a better perspective and a whole lot better outcome by things that you're going to have to deal with. When you're out of sorts or out of whack with yourself, take stop and and find out why you are that way get in balance and then go forward with whatever circumstance that you find yourself in who knows how long it's going to take there's, there's not a time frame on this at all but i have found out that if when i do when i do the work that i need to do as far as going to the gym working out, eating properly, keeping my, my, my mind, my will, and emotions in check, then I find out my life is a whole lot easier to live than if, it, if I was just out of whack with all that. So I hope this helped you today. Go out and make it a great day. I'm so glad you found me. I'm glad I found you. See you again next week. Bye.